so I set a challenge for Hanya to cook a recipe in Spanish. So I decided to choose a recipe without giving too much away that she would be able to do easily in English. During this episode, Hanya will be able to ask up to three translations, but for every single translation she asks for, there's gonna be an associated punishment. Enjoy. I got that receta, even though it's in a different language and I haven't done Spanish in five years and only studied it for two years, I still think I can do this. Ugh. Crack my knees. Buñuelos de viento. Think of the title. Bones of the weather? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Oh my god. It has three pages. I think I'm getting too much in my head being like, it needs to turn out good, like I need to... Like this perfectionism, like it's gonna be as we perfect. Um, let me embrace the chaos of the fact that this might be disgusting. This is a bit weird that Maria is giving this recipe. She knows I don't like citruses in desserts. Fuego medio. I'm fire. Fuego. Fuego is fire. Okay, guys, I made custard donuts so many times. I'm gonna do this even in like Japanese, Mongolian, Eskimo language. And I know how to do a custard. My leche is infusado on a fuego bajo. Muy bueno. Mezclamos. No idea. Maybe there's a hint in the ingredients. My cena! Sir! It'll be fine, it'll be fine, girl. It'll be fine, girl. It'll be fine. Ew, this one looks like a. Like a, like a, like a. I'm actually curious how it tastes. Lemon and milk. Smells nice. It's so bitter. I think I'm gonna pass it through a sieve anyway, because that I mean it doesn't say in the recipe, but I don't want any bits in it, and I know that's what I learned at working in a restaurant. No, I'm gonna be that bitch who is like, well, I worked for two years and then I never worked in the industry again. And I'll be like, oh, I used to be a chef 50 years ago. Bring it into every conversation be like, oh, like I, the other day, like I made this like chili con carne. Oh, what did you make it with? My favorite is like doing it with a mirepoix because you know, I used to be a chef. <laughs> oh, did you know I used to be a chef? Oh my god, it's not even going through. Oh god, please bind, please. I was being too, I know I was being such a smart ass. Uh. La raya dura? What the hell is that? I feel like these instructions have a little like backstory. A mi me gusta. No one cares about tu gusta, mate. Just give me the plubby recipe. It just clicked. Little deep fried balls with custard inside. Two hours in, I figured it out what I'm doing. Yes, the balls are, yes, the This is the raya dura de naranja. I assume it's the juice. And add it to the... Yeah. To the butter. Interesting. <gasps> Do you think it was the... Zest. Lavamos bien la naranja. That must mean clean, right? Bruh, I didn't ask for it. I didn't know what that meant. Oh, sorry. Well, I, I, I think that it means clean. Yeah, because probably it's similar in Italian, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. As the milk. I don't Do know. you want to translate more words for me? <laughs> you were the one giving me the challenge! What's the point? <laughs> I mean, she wants those like deep fried fritters. It was right. Oh, up. yeah. No, you didn't make that for me. You just sent me photos of it and posted it on my Instagram. But I was convinced I made them for you. No. I felt like I was there, but I wasn't. <laughs> oh, nice. Figuring things oh. out. <coughs> smell. My hair always smells nice. Why is he chatting again? I don't understand. Uh, homogeneous. Homogeneous. Yeah. You <laughs> shut up, dude. Come on. Who is doing this? If you want this episode, we'll do oh, one for you as well. Señorita, eh, yo tengo una problema. Yo no entiendo la palabra servir. Boil. That was a useful word. You know, I did once before the cinnamon challenge intentionally. I need to go, so do it. Oh, yes, well, that was disgusting. It's like your soul came out. This is so interesting. I never made something like this in my life. Five minutes later. Oh my god, I have made something similar. Is this like. Not shoe pastry, it's like. 
Why wouldn't you say how long you need to cook it for? Like, that's the most pointless thing I've seen. You call this good service? Maddie sure was just here a second ago, and I was just, she was asking about stuff about the recipe, right? I, I, my, my. I was telling her what I'm gonna do. She started doing this. What's the point of the friggin' challenge if you're telling me what to do? You're not actually being helpful. That's not nice. Lo siento del dio. So it's funny that you say that because apparently one story is that nuns had a lot of leftover egg yolks because the monks were using egg whites for filtering beer and so they had a lot of egg is yolks. Why someone isn't vegan? I mean, I think they were making beer. Anyway, it's unrelated. Sorry, yeah. go on. <laughs> That's why the nuns were like, we gotta use these leftover yolks and okay. they started making buñuelos de viento. It means puffs of wind. I was close. close. With the weather. Or they're also eating in France and they're called nun's farts. <laughs> Is it how they're supposed to look like? I think like? so. They're like crunchy, just like a nun's fart. Challenge accepted, challenge completed. I only asked for how one hint, even though I w received five million ones. Oopsie. Why are you scared of me or something? <laughs> no, I'm just like <laughs> opening the conversation. <laughs> Adios! Uh, Adios! <laughs>